stuck in traffic. She's coming back again. No, don't don't come back. Don't come to work. What are you what are you doing? I don't need you here. I don't need I don't need two people in the morning. Look at this woman. What is she insane? <laughs> She's fucking insane. Get out of here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another brick in the mall. I'm your host, the bird. Notice Falcon, that is another brick in the mall, not another brick in the wall, because that would be Pink Floyd. And we're over here building a giant mall complex, because they'll be selling a bunch of stuff. We're not producing one of the best albums of all time, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, if you recall, we actually covered another brick in the mall late last year, when it barely hit early access. So I really enjoyed the game a lot, had a ton of um, promise, to be honest with you. The only problem is that I jumped into it a bit early, so there was a couple of things missing that I've heard they've added over time now. There's been a ton of updates since last played. And I'm kind of curious to see what those updates are all about. So, this will be an update video. However, I'll leave the option open that if you guys enjoyed, want to see a bit more of it on the channel again, I could do a small little series on it. So, I'll leave that up to you. Let me know by leaving some comments in there or a like. Let me know you want to see some more and we'll do that. But for now, let's go back into another brick in the mall. We'll start with everything on default just because, you know, it's been a while so I might be a little bit rusty here. Hello and welcome, you have somehow inherited this massive land. Regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zoning in the area. Commercial is your only option. So this indeed is going to be in our entire land right here. We move around with WASD, zoom in. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, first and foremost, we got to build ourselves a little bit of a foundation. So, foundation built. Get all of this right over here. And we'll speed it up. As you can see, we have one worker here at the moment. If we go over to... Manage. This will be our maintenance center, right? We can see who is um, hired over here. And we have three builders. We have Lindsay Kidd, who's a worker right now, who starts working at 7 o'clock. And she will work for 8 hours. And then we have Brenda Baldwin, comes in at 15, works for 8 hours as well. And then we have Penelope Glass overnight working as well. So, three builders over here, which is ideal. We should have Brenda Baldwin coming up here pretty soon. Now, in case you're new to this game, haven't heard of it beforehand, just by looking at it alone, assuming you're familiar with these games, it's going to be very similar to RimWorld, Prison Architect, but obviously here as opposed to, you know, building your own prison with prisoners and stuff like that, or trying to build a colony in space, which is what RimWorld is all about. Here, just you're just building malls, and what's cool about this game is you'll be able to build stores that sell food, electronic stores, food stores, bowling alleys, cinemas, and that's just what I remember from when I played. There's been a ton of more updates since then, so I'm not even sure what's in the game now. Restaurants. This is going to be for fast food, yeah. So, in order to get fast food joints, we have to first research Cold Chain. So, after this one, we definitely want Cold Chain just so we could open up a, a little Mickey D's, a Burger King, a Jack in the Box. All these places I just named, by the way, if you want to go ahead and sponsor the Birdman for tossing your name into a video, by all means, go ahead. Now, mind you, I don't eat burgers too often, so, you know, I'll, I'll take the sponsorship in, in forms of money. Specifically, bird money, if that's okay. You know, we, we, we birds have different monetization than you humans do. Anyway, <laughs> with this over here done, we have to build a couple of doors. Otherwise, how are people going to get in, right? So let's go over here to objects and we'll do double doors for the customers. And down here, we want a staff door. This will be so only our people can come into the staff room to, you know, come in and fill up stuff and stuff like that. We don't want regular people walking back there because, you know, that's that's not cool, man. Now, let's see. Over here, we have to build a wall. So let's get that wall built. We're going to build a wall. I'm sorry I had to go with it. What can I say? That this, this Donald Trump, a beautiful wall. I live in my own nest. You know what I'm saying? I live in my own nest. I, I keep to myself and people don't bother me in my nest. And, you know, I, I need to give a name to my nest, to be honest with you. I used to call it the Nestopia. You know, it's like a nest and you also in, add in Utopia in there. But um, it, it sounds too much like an emulator, so... <laughs> If you guys could give me a name for my nest where I live, that, that'd be great. Because Nestopia sounds way too much like an emulator. Anyway, we also have to set up a counter here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going on, on random tangents now, but that's what happens with games like this. There's a lot of downtime, so this is where I shine, and I talk to you about anything and everything. So, we set up a couple of things here. Oh, I, I forgot to show it off, but check this out. Building. Table. Rotatable objects, baby! Awesome. Anyway, I'm not going to set that down right now because it's not going to let me because it's a tutorial. But I could if I wanted to for the future. So now that we have these over here set up, we need to fill them up with some items, obviously. So let's go over here and do... Diapers are always a good thing. You know, people are always having babies constantly. So diapers seems like a good item. Toilet paper. I think that's something everybody needs, to be honest with you. And then finally, the last item here. Well, we have diapers, we have toilet paper. 
I say diapers is more of a fem- female thing. Toilet paper is more neutral. How about something for the men? Toys? No. I mean, unless they're man babies. <laughs> I am. I, I love toys still, man. I collect action figures, though. Um, car tools sounds like a very manly object. Nothing says very manly like car tools next to toilet paper and diapers. Perfect. Now over here, let's do some food items. Let's go for beverages. So we do soda. We'll also do bottled water. And we'll also do juices. Now let me pause momentarily because my builder's done, right? I don't want you to be done because you have to build some more customer parking for me. So let me go into building road work and we'll do customer parking like so. Oh, you're not going to let me do it because we're still in tutorial mode. God damn it. Okay. Once we're done, we have to build some more parking for the following day. So let me pause the time here momentarily and let's go into filling us up with food now. Honestly, breakfast cereal has to be in my store because I live off of breakfast cereal. It's very easy to make, very fast, it's very cheap, it keeps the Birdman fed, and that's all good with me. So we'll do that one. I also live off of coffee, so I need to have that in there too. <laughs> I'm building the store after for me, apparently. Nobody else but for me. What else do I like? I also like um, canned food. I'm a big tuna guy. So there you go. Uh, build a loading zone right here. And this will be obviously for our stock inventory. They'll come over here and drop it off and it'll fill it up in here. So now let's let the person go over there and build that. We have to manage the store and set up what now? What am I doing? I'm um, zoning, right, okay. So we need to set up a storage area which will be right over here. Staff. Now right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hire three cashiers and two clerks, uh, two store clerks. The reason why I want three is because I wanna have somebody in between the day so that in case we get too packed with people, People aren't in line waiting too long, and then they leave pissed off, which hurts your reputation, and obviously, you lose sales as well. So go to hire cashier. Maggie Stanton, you seem pretty ideal, so Maggie Stanton will be the first person we're going to pick up here. Now, before I assign hours to you, I need to figure out what time we're opening our store. So let me go over here to zone. I want you opening up at... Um, we'll open up at 7, I'm going to say. And we'll close at 23. Right now, there's limitations to how early you could open up and how late you could close. But you could research more things down the line to extend the hours, obviously. So right now, we could only go up to 23, it does seem, huh? Okay, so 23 it's going to be. Um, and we'll open up at 7. I want, like, you know, at least there to be, like, 16 hours in the day here. So would this work out? Not really, right? Actually, it would. And we'll do... Let's see... You're all terrible, to be honest with you. But at least you have some speed to your name, so we'll go with... Stephanie Rasmussen. And we'll also go with... Uh, patience. So she'll be, your speed's so terrible, dude, dude. Everybody's terrible. I guess we'll go with Helena Beasley. Um, you could get a better pool of people once you start unlocking roads. So if you could unlock this road and this road, you'll have more people coming. Not only customers, but also more hirees down the line. So that's done right there. I need to assign some time hours for you, but before I do, let me get my clerks as well. Speed and patience. Let's go with Ellen Finley. Congratulations. The tutorial should now be done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. Um. Let me now go into building more customer parking, which is gonna be needed down through here. I also do. Let's see. Staff only parking. Bam. And I think we only need two for now. And we'll do a road going down this way. And down this way, and this will be for more parking down the line. So that's going to be pretty ideal for now. Let me have you run in real time. And we also have to assign hours so before people show up. So, cashier. We open up at 7, we said. So you're coming in right as we open up. Set starting hours, 7 o'clock. That should be ideal. And you're going to be working the full 8-hour shift. And I'll have somebody in the middle work a smaller shift. And then the last person works 8 hours. So that's going to be my thing here. As you can see right now, we'll have people... Start loading up the inventory into our storage area, and then our clerk should come in at some point and start filling up the shelves, because that needs to happen, too. As a matter of fact, and then Finley, let's set you up. I need you to come in before the store is open to fill up the area, so I think 6 o'clock an hour beforehand should be ideal, because it's a small store for now. So that's fine. Let me hire the, the, the second clerk as well while I'm at it. Um, speed. I guess we'll go with Alyssa, Alyssa Stanley. Alyssa, you come in at... Mm. Coming at 15. Let, let me give you 8 hours, and you stay like 2 hours after work, and you restock whatever needs to be restocked. So that's fine. Okay, cashier. It's 4 o'clock right now. You're coming in at 7, which is ideal. You're working 8 hours. Fine. 
Stephanie Rasmussen, you are coming in at... I need you to come in like, we're opening at 7, so you come in at maybe 11, I'm going to say. This will be early, so I'm going to give you 7, so you work a little bit afterwards, just in case we have some people left over in the store afterwards. Okay, I think this works. We have opening people, which she's there already. Why is she there at 5 o'clock? I set you up at 7. Why are you here at 5? What? That's Maggie Stannon, right? No. We'll come in to work in two hours. Stephanie... Stephanie's here. Stephanie, why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. You're, you're supposed to come in at 11. <laughs> Yo, fucking fi fire this woman. Get out of here. You're, you're not supposed to be here. You're, you're ruining everything for me. You're coming to traffic. Uh, you're coming in. You're stuck in traffic. That's fine. We open up at 7, so we still have some time. She's coming in. Um, you come in later. That's fine. We need a, a person for the midday now. Hire cashier again. Jesus. This woman showed up early for some goddamn reason. Um, is that her again? That's her. Okay, I do want you here. You just came in at a really weird time. Stuck in traffic. She's coming back again. No, don't don't come back. Don't come to work. What are you What are you doing? I don't need you here. I don't need I don't need two people in the morning. Look at this woman. What is she insane? <laughs> She's fucking insane. Get out of here. All right, fine. You know what? Just stay there for now. Tomorrow, I need you to come in at the right time. Okay. Okay, Stephanie, would you have a deal? You come in at the right time next time, okay? You, you stop being crazy. Okay, there. You work the midday shift tomorrow. I guess you're here today, so just work. I feel terrible firing you twice. I never think I've anybody's been fired twice in one single day. <laughs> Stephanie's about to break a record here pretty soon. Okay, so we're now open. Our stores are just about filled up. Uh, my builders is working on the construction here. Can you guys finish up the customer parking? That's the important... No, no, no. Ignore that. Do the customer parking. We're gonna lose sales, man. We're gonna lose sales. Well, we'll keep an eye out. <laughs> well, can you finish the customer? See, we're losing sales already because of no parking. Cancel it, right click. Okay, there it is. There. Okay, can you go finish? There we go. Jesus Christ. The amount of sales. How many How many sales you got? You cost me 25 sales, lady. 25 sales is what you just cost me right now. I'm not happy about that, especially because I'm paying Stephanie. Do you understand what's happening here? We have like two registered people and we're missing sales. That's crazy. It's okay, it's my first day, it's all cool. It's all coming back to me right now, you know? Honestly speaking, it's it's all back to me. But we had a beer, weird of a hiccup there with this lady not coming in at the time she wanted to. She basically makes up her own schedule. I don't, I don't control her at all. <laughs> What's that time? 11? Oh, no, okay, I'm gonna come in at 7 instead. No, no, I need you to be 11. No, no, 7 sounds fine to me. It's like, oh, okay, well, I mean, fuck me. Why am I even here? You're the boss. Okay, so now we could do the, the road work finally? Okay, Jesus. Jesus Christ Almighty. Okay. Oh boy. So how is everything else looking? Closing time is approaching. Our lines are looking pretty good. So, luckily at least, the fine lining here is that we haven't lost any sales due to people being in line for too long. So, once the, the, the schedule fixes itself tomorrow, we'll have somebody in the morning, then an afternoon person to help the, set the morning person out, and then the afternoon goes to the nighttime person, and nobody should be leaving the floor because of um, not enough time in a cashier. So, y you're leaving. You're, you left an hour early. The, the store's still open. The, the store's still open. D does nobody, does nobody like, you know, follow my, 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 what, 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 what am I, what am I to these people? I give them times and they just leave whenever they want to. Oh, se 11? No, I'm coming at 7. Oh, you want me to stay here till we close? No, I think I'm gonna leave an hour early and leave the store completely wide open. Because, you know, why not? No, 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 nobody pays attention to me. I got no respect. I'm like Rodney Dangerfield. No respect. Okay. Can you, um... Helena Beasley, can you mind telling me why you left early? You know, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah, just... Because, you know, it says 24 hours here and we close at 23. So... I'm gonna give you an extra hour now to make sure you make it through that time next time. Okay, that should be the last issue here, I want to say. Should be the very last one. Oh, good God. What a return to another brick in the mall. I love this game, by the way. You, you think I'm having a bad time because of everything that's happened. I'm actually really enjoying it. I love it when shit like this happens in a game because, like, it just... It just makes it so, um, eventful, you know? Because you, you don't know how you're gonna deal with this shit, so it's great. Let me add a couple more shelves here. And the reason we're doing this is because we have to sell a couple of items to get some rewards. So right now, I'm pretty sure we got this one already. Sell 10 different types of items and we'll get 10,000. So at the moment, as you can see, we're selling 9 different items. So once this is built, we should be able to... Yeah, once that's built, we should be able to stock it up with something here. So let me speed it up for us. You're done with the building over there. Great. Give me my shelves. Good. Now, if you don't mind, 
let's have you finish up the... Let me go to fast speed first. Go back to the reward work and we'll do customer bargain through here and through here. Now, since we don't have any fresh products just yet, we don't have to worry about a garbage area. But we will need an area to um, remove garbage over time. But that's only once you open up the, the fresh items that actually spoil. You have to like take them out to the trash and stuff like that. That's when the janitor comes into play. As a matter of fact, the janitor is going to come into play even earlier because the area so will start getting filthy here pretty soon, I have to imagine. Um, anyway, let's fill you up with some items here. So, we went with toilet paper, diapers, and some tools. Let's go ahead and add a couple of toys here for the kids. Why not? And finally, we'll do uh, some cookware as well. <laughs> it's quite quite a random assortment of items, I know. But again, our store's really small right now, so that'll give us this bad boy right here. Now, you, I know we missed 25 sales. That's because of our amazing construction worker we had last time who had no idea how to prioritize important things, so it's fine. So, we obviously didn't go into a profit because we lost some sales, and... <laughs> we lost a lot of sales, and obviously salaries and stuff like that. But I think today we should be able to easily turn a profit because I've filled this up how I wanted to have it fill it up here. And it seems that Stephanie is now coming in at 11 this time, which is great. She's following the, the, the rules of the jobs I give these people. She doesn't make up her own rules now, which is ideal. Okay. Let's go to research here. This will be my needs. This will tell you what people want. So at the moment, they really want some milk. And some fast food. I do believe we need to open up Cold Chain for that, which we have not. We're working on Cold Chain right now, so we have still have to give it a couple more hours. And then from that, we'll be able to open up restaurants, which will be fast food joints. And once you have fast food joints, it'll kind of incline people to stay longer here. Speaking of which, we also should open up some restaurants, but I do believe we probably cannot do that. We don't have that unlocked yet, yeah? Yeah, we have to research restrooms first. And obviously... That'll be really important, too, because people won't want to stay in your store and in your fast food area to, you know, buy stuff and spend money if there's no way for them to relieve themselves, you know what I'm saying? Anybody would, so we're going to have to unlock that over time here pretty soon, but the customer parking is looking pretty ideal. As you can see, we're not losing any sales this time because why? Well, we have enough parking spots for the people to come in. As a matter of fact, we've already turned a profit early in the day, or middle of the day anyway, but still, I expected as much. I mean, the first day was just so wacky. But now Stephanie's here when she's supposed to be here. And hopefully we also fix the time frame for the night shift worker who will leave after the store closes as opposed to leaving an hour early because that actually... People will come in to your store if it's open and there's nobody there and they'll just literally grab items and they'll run out. I'm not making this up. I love that they added that feature, by the way. But they'll come in and just grab something and leave. It's, it's amazing. So let's see if she actually stays there the entire time now. I gave her an extra hour just in case. Um, and since we're really late in the day, I really doubt she needs any more help. I mean, at some point, we'll probably want four cashiers, like, working side by side, just in case. But I think right now we could pull it off with three only, because our store isn't really too big. We have to wait for the research to be done anyway, so I think it should be ideal. As you can see, we're already turning a good profit. We'll probably go down a bit once we have to pay the salaries, but, um, you know, as long as we're turning a profit in the day, little by little, we'll start doing a lot better. So right now, the salaries will take a hit. But not too bad. Let's see here. P customers on site, 14. Okay, not bad. Not bad. And again, we had to pay the salary, so that kind of hurt us a little bit. But otherwise, pretty good. Now, have we completed some of these? Let's see. Pretty sure we did. So, turn a daily profit of over $100. I don't think that one we've done just yet. Make 100 total sales. Uh, let's see, how many have we made? 97. So, we're almost there. We're almost there for that one. And as you unlock, or as you complete these, you'll get some more money over time as well. So that's a good way to kind of easily build yourself. You can pick up loans if you want to, but then you have to like, you know, pay them back and with interest and you don't want to get involved with that. So how about we wrap it up here for today, guys? Pretty good start. Um, this is more of an update video. Unfortunately, you know, this game is very progressional, so I really couldn't show any more of the new stuff here. But if you want to see some more, I would gladly play some more and maybe we get to the new stuff as we progress down the line. But let me know in the comments if you want to see some more and by leaving a like. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.